Hi, I'm Jane. I'm going to make a simple daisy chain today using rock eyes and beads. To make this simple daisy chain, I've got size 11 rock eyes here. You're going to want two colours, one for the stem colour and one for the petal colour. And then I've got a four millimetre bead. I've got a check glass bead here, so you can use pretty much whatever you like. I've got Nymo thread, you need something like that, something similar, a strong nylon based thread. I've got a small magnetic clasp here, you can use any type of clasp, but that's just what I've chosen today. So I'm going to start off by actually attaching the clasp on first and that's actually going to help stopping any of my beads falling off. So I'm just going to slide it down to the end and I'm just going to tie a knot to hold that in place. One and then I'll do another one. I've got the Nymo double here just to add strength to it really and because you're only going through the beads once or twice it doesn't matter, you know, you're not going to get it stuck. So I've tied my clasp on and I'm now just going to start with the beads for the stalks. I'm using the green here. So I'm going to put on eight beads. As I say, these are size 11 rock eyes. Obviously you can use different sizes if you want but you need to work out how many of them fit around your centre bead. So, eight of those, then I'm going to do six of my petal colour beads, which is the yellow, and then one four millimetre bead, my centre bead. I'm now going to come back round with the needle, back round to this first yellow bead, this first petal colour that I put on, and go through there, going back towards the clasp. Pull that all the way through. And then you can see how that brings round one side of the petals. I'm then going to put four more of these yellow rock eyes. And then I'm going to pass the needle through the rock eye here that's closest to the hole in the bead. Okay. And that will bring that round the other side. So you've got your flower. So if you noticed, I did six on one side first and then four. It always works best if you do one half a bit bigger than the other because it just brings it actually right round the bead properly. So I'm going to do another eight of my stem colour. Now again, you can also do any number of these that you want to make it as short or as long as you want. You could also vary it. Sometimes you might have a longer stem around towards the back of the necklace and shorter bits of stems in between. I've just stuck with eight for simplicity on this one. Okay, so we're up to the next petal. So again, I'm doing six of my yellow petal colour and one of my four millimetre bead. Slide that all the way down. Then I'm coming back through this yellow one here towards the clasp. So that brings it round. So you've got half your petals. Another four. And then it's this one. So it's this petal bead here closest to the centre of my orange bead. Pull that round and there we go, another daisy. So I'll do one more to show you. So again, eight here for my stalks. Six of the petal colour. One oops of my bead. Okay, so it's background to this one, so it's the first of the petal colour going back towards the clasp. Pull that round and then it's four to make the other side and back through that yellow one there. Okay, so you can see that's really quite simple and quite quick the way it builds up. You really just have to carry on until the necklace is as long as you want it. Once you get round to the other side, again you need to attach the clasp. So it's threading through, back through a few of the rock eyes, back through the clasp a couple of times. And then obviously once you've finished, you want to re-thread these tail ends to put those back through the rock eyes, just to tidy it up before you trim the ends off. And there you go, you've got your daisy chain. <laughs>